it's not just basic art down here. It's artscape, top of the best of the best here. And you talk about watercolor, we're talking with Dwayne James, a watercolor artist. Thanks for talking with us, Dwayne. Nice, nice to be here. Yeah, we were just looking at these paintings, and I commented and said, that's not just a lot of talent, that's a lot of patience. And you had a response <laughs> for that. Well, I, I said I, it's more like determination. I don't really look at it as being patience. It's more determination because I never used to be able to finish projects as a kid. Right. And uh, so the first watercolor painting I finished, start to finish, was a major accomplishment, and it, and was, you, it was a good feeling. Cause, so when I do a painting, it's determination that gets me from right, start to finish. Right. And, How long have you been doing this now? Uh, I've been painting as a hobby for about 20 years. Right. And I've been doing this uh, full-time for about a decade now. Is that right? Do you want the full story? Congratulations yeah, on well, that yeah, because yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up because it's not easy uh, making money and making a living at art yeah. and you know that sort of stuff. Do you find it, it difficult? It, it, it is. It is. But uh, the only reason I'm doing this is because of my wife. Oh, okay. Yeah, she encouraged me. I had opportunities. Um, th I'll give you the short version of it. Yeah, go ahead. But um, I was uh, a, a longtime employee at IBM for many years. And then they laid me off in 2009. It okay. was literally the next day that my wife found out that she was pregnant. Oh, wow. And then a couple weeks <laughs> Good later. Good timing. Yeah, we found out a couple <laughs> weeks later that it was twins. Oh. So when she went Keep back. Keep going with this story. <laughs> yeah, that's right, yeah. So when she went back to work, I became a stay-at-home dad for the boys. Right. And while they were sleeping, which wasn't really all that often, uh, I would paint. And that's where it came out. So when I had the opportunity, uh, when the boys were in school, to actually go out and find a uh, a, a real job. Right. My wife encouraged me to follow my bliss, and that's why I'm out here. Well, I couldn't yeah. agree with you more on yeah. doing that. Let's take a look at this oh, painting right up yeah, here, uh, sure. sort of similar to, because we've got tall ships going on down here yeah. as well. Uh, talk about how you come up with this. Sure. Actually, in this painting, I painted for this show. Uh, I had painted the Blue Nose uh, on the dime uh, previously, and I loved it so much that I wanted to do it again. I found out about this show, joined it, and I wanted to paint this. I'm doing a, I've done a series of paintings of things inside bottles, yeah. usually, usually ships. And so in this case, I, I wanted to put the blue nose in full sail inside a bottle, and then I wanted to find a background that was iconic of Nova Scotia, and what's more iconic of Nova Scotia than Peggy's Cove. And so I put the whole thing together and, and painted it, and yeah. it, it just it was one of those paintings that just begged to be painted. I couldn't put the paintbrush down. And how long would that have taken you to uh, Three weeks. Create? Three weeks. Three weeks to do that painting. And the reason I like to mention that is, you know, you talk about value and, okay. and uh, price, pricing, though. Yeah. I mean, there has to be uh, some kind of a process on how you decide exactly. how much that is. Yeah. And uh, that time would certainly be a big part of that. Time's part of it, and yeah. The time's a, a really huge part of it, for sure. And then sure. you add in this, the talent and the skill that you have, right? I, sure, that works for me. Yeah, yeah, that's good. <laughs> now, you're down here. Is this your first time at Artscape? It's my first time at Artscape, yeah. yeah okay. Yes. How's your experience with that so that's far? It's wonderful. It's lots of people through. And, and one thing I noticed, I, I was setting up last night, and, and here we are in, in, in a public park. Uh, people of Sarnia are amazing. Yeah? I, 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 everybody, everybody was walking by and welcome. I, I had one guy just walk by and said... Uh, Something about the fact that you, you guys, great, great that you're doing this. Good for you for, for following, basically, good for you for following your bliss. Yeah. Out of the, out of the blue, this guy's walking by congratulating me for, for doing this. And well, I couldn't agree with you more. Yeah, following yeah. your bliss, as yeah. you like to put it, is yeah. a great way to live and, uh, and follow your passion and all that, right? Yeah. That's uh, good. I'm enjoying it. Right on. Dwayne, thank Perfect. you so much thank for you. being here. Thanks, Thanks for being here at yeah, Artscape. You can come down and see Dwayne James, watercolor artist at booth number 74. 74. Come on down here. He's just right beside the Sun Cora Agora here at Artscape by the Bay. Celtic Hillbillies are going to be on at 1.30 till about 5.30 as well, down in the dining area. Craft beer and wine. Bring the kids down here too because they've got stuff going on for kids' activities as well. Again, on till 6 o'clock tonight and again tomorrow from 9 until 4. Artscape by the Bay down here at Centennial Park. For the show live on location, once again, I'm David Burroughs. Thanks for watching.